crack a lacking. Crack a lacking. Crack a lacking. Inspirational way, yeah. And G Man, crack a lacking, fam a lamming. So, this is our sixth podcast, and uh, yeah. took a bit of time and effort, but we're going to stick to what we said and do a gaming one. Yes, we we'll managed to one. <laughs> come up with a few subjects. But again, like the music ones, they, it might be a 50, 55 minute, because. Yeah, this could be a short one, who knows. I'm an expert on gaming, but he's not as much. I'm more than, like the old school game. He's the new school. He owns a PS4 console, I'm more like PS3. <laughs> so, 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 we got about like, five subjects we're going to talk about, and then we got obviously our few little points we're going to talk about, and then off to chains and mm. nas and not have naps. So, oh yeah, we've got to start with our list, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, top, shit, what are you top, doing this our list? We haven't top, even done a list, have we? Top 10 games. Oh, could, go on then, I can do that off my head, that's easy. Okay, number. see how mine compare is. Number 10, Black Ops Zombie. God, from around, that's a good game. Wait, By no, number 9, Guitar Hero. Number 8, Just Dance. Number 7, this is a bit weird, but um, the whole PS, PlayStation 2 in 2003. Oh, 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 that one, yeah, that's a sick game. Yeah, that was the best part of, of the, better than the fucking film. So yes. <laughs> Um, number six, Duck Hunt. You know, any thing you know, you shot the yeah. and the dog gets you know, duck. And then number five, Sins of Home Run, which is basically a parody of Grand Theft Auto for kids. Number four, Pac Man. Number three, Vice City, GTA. Number two, we sports. And number one, Mario Kart. Yes. Mario Kart. Ma- Mario. No, we. Yes, I just played it on the iPad. It's quite cool. You know, you can get on mod. Yeah. Done for free. It's actually sick. Give me two sets, peeps. I'm literally writing mine out now. Oh, what can you name it? Okay. I don't know, I'm not too long. Alright. My spot. So, yeah, basically, um, today I downloaded Mario Kart on the iPad. It's quite good. Um, uh, some type people think it's very problematic. Uh, like the drifting as well. And the fantasy, you got to play. Guess what they gave you? Two toys. They gave you Toadette or probably fucking Princess Peach to play. That it? No, the, no. If, if you go on to more levels, yeah. But sick. but but for now, you have to play Toadette or fucking Princess Peach. Princess Peach. Yeah, and I have to play the pink car. Pink. And there we go. Sorted. There we go. Right. So mine are going to be very different. Mine are a lot of the new generation. This one says it's going to be a very different. contrast different. episode. Yes. Number ten, a very old game, but it's a game I loved playing back in the day. DJ Hero. Ooh, yes, good. Number nine, Guitar Hero. Hey. Another really good one. Number uh, eight, Mario Kart. Do us f- no, that's number nine as well. Hey, hey we've got one in common. <laughs> um, seven, the new Spider-Man game that's on PS4, not the old ones. I'm not into them. God of War, sick game. Most the old ones are pretty good as well. Um, and then my top five because these are just ones I've always loved no matter what. The Uncharted, all of them, one to four. Mirror's Edge, one and two. Tomb Raider, love a bit of Tomb Raider. And then my top two, if you don't know me by now, or if you watch the podcast, you should might have guessed these ones. WWE games and then number one, NBA. NBA. <laughs> That's cool. my games. Could I completely forgot about the top ten list? <laughs> but well, there we go. You're so as you can see, very different list, very different uh, contrast. Yeah, only one thing was Guitar Hero. That's awesome. So the next thing we're going to talk about for the next five ten minutes, whatever, is the not DJ Hero. We're going to compare the consoles. As in by consoles, I mean the PS one, two, three, four. Xbox One, Two, Three Sixty, and the Nintendo Wii. Uh, Nintendo Switch. Switch. Yeah. And Nintendo Wii U, is it? Yes. If I think Not PC, because none of us have owned a PC gaming console, so we can't no, say what care. it's like. I've owned. No. Can't I've really owned all three consoles, really so I know they like using a few of the consoles. So. So yeah. That's uh. What do you like about them? Each one, should I say? Well, well, obviously I grew up with PS1. Well, uh, obviously PS1 is very, very dated. Like, um, some games have memory, of, but then there's PS2. PS, PS2 got a lot of memories. Yeah, that's why I got a lot of my memories. Good old Death Jam and games like that on PS2. That was my baby until. Uh, uh, yeah, and definitely watching Sim- Simpsons Home Run. Oh, I, 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 well, I watched a bit of. I think I played a bit of Tomb Raider as well. That's quite fun. You know, I don't like The Simpsons, but I actually really enjoyed that one. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like The Simpsons. Like I don't watch it. Not into it. But for some reason, that game I really liked. It's yeah. It's a yeah. fun game. Yeah. Are we talk. Are we talking about Tomb Raider? No, we're not. Can do if you want. Oh, uh, old school for the new. Oh, an old school game oh, for an old school. So um, I can. Yes, that's a fun game. That's basically like a parody of Grand Theft Auto, 
I thought it you much, yeah. Yeah, it's taking the piss of Gravel is good. <laughs> and you've got brand many cars and stuff, it's yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, um, Xbox. I'm I'm a PS4 at, at heart. PS, yeah. Um I've just always been into PS4. I just think it's all, the better console and just I have had Xboxes. Yeah. I am in I still want an Xbox. I want to get the new Xbox when it comes out. I've got the money. But I've just always been a PS4 guy, PS cuz like you said they they bring back memories. I just have so many games that I've played on the PS and enjoy. Yeah. Like the PS4 now, without it, I wouldn't be able to play yeah, my yeah, NBA so or my WWE yeah. or the God of War, Spider Man. Yeah. All these amazing games. Um, and obviously, the controls are more recognisable. Yeah. I, I, I prefer the triangle and then the square. Yeah, that's what's a bit of weird controls. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I feel like Nintendo's school. more of a family console. That's more of a console you go on when, you wanna, when you're pissed up and have a laugh. Yes. Like we've gone on it when we've had a few drinks. Yeah, with the, with the Wii, exactly. I think. No, cause I like. I think I like the way because I'm more like old school, a bit of fun. Yeah, and, all, and also it is kind of old. And, school. And, and the Wii, the the Wii is very different because you use a remote and it control motion controls your movements. It's quite clever. Yeah, but yeah, well, then they got the VR for the PS4 now. Have oh, they got VR? Yeah, but then you got you got to pay lots. Yeah, yeah, I've got to pay a lot. But yeah, I'm PS4. You're. Yes, I'm and Nintendo and PS PS3. But yeah, PS3's got a lot. But then. I don't know, I don't feel much for the PS3. That's why I thought it kind of dipped, not going to lie. PS2 was good. I know the PS3 graphics were better, but graphics aren't always everything, you know? Exactly. I feel like the PS3, it kind of dipped. I feel like Nintendo's always got better. Yeah. Obviously, I had a Nintendo Wii. I've got, still got a Nintendo Wii. <coughs> Pardon me, yeah. said he. It was not me to drink. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm spreading off track now. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, she had the Nintendo Wii, and then it went to the Nintendo U. I never played Nintendo U. Yeah, but, but it's all about the Switch now. It's all about the Switch. And I went to Nintendo Switch, which I have played, because my little brother had one. Yeah. I it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we... Yeah. So, um, um, because I can remember when we played, um, what's that? No, one, two, three, and we had a right laugh on that, and... Yeah. Or was it? No, I played it on my mum. Wrong people. One, two, three. But we did play Mario Tennis in uh, yes. Summer City. Summer City with Mario Yeah, you whooped, you, he whooped my ass, basically. That was a good game. My, that was a good game. That's what... That's, yeah, that's what it's I... It's a lot, a lot more I party have, games. Like, yeah, do you know what? I'm actually going to try to get the Switch for Christmas. Two hundred. I heard it's £200, someone told me. I was going to get it until I started focusing on my uh, MMA career. Ooh. Got priority, <laughs> sorry, game. Sorry, like, game. Sorry, priorities. Sports Sorry, game are, man. Actual sports is a priority. <laughs> Priorities! <laughs> priority. But yeah, the Nintendo is... I think the Wii brings back a lot of memories. Like, like, like the Mario and Sonic Olympic Games as well. Yeah. Was, and There's a lot of games... Like, and also with the Wii, it's a lot of games that you could play together and enjoy as a group. Whereas I feel the PS4 and Xbox, unless you've got, like, I don't know, shitty Fortnite or any other games that are... Multiplayer, Call of Duty, I suppose. For what? Well, no, took for what? Her for what? Sorry, I don't know. I haven't played that. But I feel, like, I feel like the PS4 and Xbox have always been just a single player console. Yeah. That's where you get the most enjoyment. Like for example, most of the games I really enjoy on PS4 are single player games. God of War is a single player game. Spider Man's yeah. a single player game. NBA you can play out multiplayer, but I yeah. prefer to play out like, single. Yeah, I think that's why the multiplayer for a reason you don't. May get idiots online, as I work. You can get idiots, yeah. I've had that yeah, and that bollocks. I, I've seen that. And also, little kids, I'm called, oh, you're new. You're a newbie. Uh, you're a newbie. Oh, why are you you're doing shit? Yeah. Oh, fuck off. So, Wii's more a family oriented, more fun. And you've got the more like party games, like you've got the more. Uh, Wii Sports, yes. Wii Sports, you've got the Mario Party. Yes, games. <laughs> so many spins with Mario. Um, Mario, Supercharged Car Football, Car. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe I can't believe Smash it. Brothers, where when we fight each other, we played that at Summer City yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, Super Smash Brothers is amazing. Uh, yeah, especially all of them all to come together and battle the shell each other. That's good. <laughs> That's basically it's a good it. game. Take your frustration out on. Uh, 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 Donkey Kong gonna fight you, Pikachu. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu. Yeah, no tender. Oh yeah, also the Game Boy when. Oh, the Game Boy! Now you're taking me back years. Yeah. Jesus, PSP. So I had a green one. I had a green one. I didn't have that. My thing was the PSP back in the days. Oh, I had a PSP as well. Back in the, the days. Until I lost in school, fortunately. <laughs> you 
you idiot. I know, I lost you in school. GTA, good times. Just drifting away, killing people. Good times. I did play, yeah, to be fair, I'm not a massive fan of GTA, which I'll go into more in a minute. I know, I'm very surprised. It, but I did play it, one oh. of them. Yeah, it's quite fun. You're like, you're in a world we can do what the fuck you want, even though you don't have to do the missions. Yeah. It's just yeah. a bit of a... Bear gang as well, but also Bear in a fun gang. way. Also in a fun way. People say the game calls violence. It children. don't, it's the person. It's the person, exactly. It's so that crony crap. I know. Games Baloney. That are violent. Look at the UFC, that's a violent game. That's yeah. a cage fighting game. Yeah. People could take Fight. that and start fights and copy that. Yeah, people can... It's the people in that attitude. Pe people can know the difference between the game and real life. Simple. <laughs> Simple. Yeah. Yeah, so what are you going? I'm going with the Nintendo. I think Nintendo is I'm going to have to go PS... PS. Sorry, Xbox, you haven't barely been mentioned, but we just don't rate you that much. You've done yeah. good things, Xbox. You but Xbox done some gra the graphics as well. Yeah, they've got good graphics. Their new console does look pretty good, but I've just... I heard really the Xbox, what about the Xbox playing. store is good, but then PS4, they offer more as well. PS4 is pretty good for PlayStation Plus. And also, also you can play DVDs. Yes, so you can do it on Xbox, apparently, but I don't know. So, next subject. Sonic vs Mario, Mario, Clash of the Champions. Two people that's been around for absolute ages as far yeah, as I Mario's know. Yeah, Mario's been longer. So Mario's, obviously you start off Donkey Kong, do you, if you don't know that. Do you know you start off Donkey Kong? Yeah, he's in Donkey Kong, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, then 1980. Donkey Kong! So, I done, so he started Donkey Kong 1981. I then there was Mario Brothers 1983. So that's the proper Mario game where they go through pipes and stuff. Yeah. And collect coin and all the doo -doo 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 -doo. and um, it was debut with Luigi as well. Luigi, Luigi, Mario, and, um, and got Bowser as well. Then there's many versions of there's like Mario Tennis, that's quite fun. Mario Super um, Smash Bros. Mario Party. As the nineties, there was all lots of spin-offs. I think and then it was Mario Kart. I, th I think that's everyone's favorite Mario Kart. Yeah, that's the one everyone goes yeah, to. Yeah, boy. Especially you go uh, hit a banana on somebody. <laughs> I'm not slow on it the can be quite a racing game though. It can be. Frustration as well. Just get ugh, the edge. And then Mario Kart, and then you go to other places as well, universes. Great fun. I think there's one of Bowser, big uh, Bowser, and he stomps on you, try and make sure he stomps on you. Yeah, there's been loads of spin off And then Mario 64, and then there's actually some called Luigi's Mansion, can't believe. There's actually a game Yeah, I did see about that, but yeah, I haven't played it. The only game with Luigi, a bit weird. That's on Nintendo Cube, but I never. Have you ever played Nintendo Cube? Can you remember on already? Can really have I been? played it once or twice. Is it good? To be fair, yeah. I haven't played it loads, but yeah. And then Mario, there's been a TV series. I didn't. I didn't watch it. Then there was a movie that we don't talk about. The movie, the crap. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> but Mario is. If I think Mario's the better thing, but I'm, I'll tell you why. And then there's Sonic. He debuted in 1991. So. Not long after Sonic. What do you think of Sonic then? He's yeah, I like Sonic a lot. I got my first taste of Sonic from my uncle's PS One. Yeah. When I played. Um, oh yeah. What game was that? Was it Sonic Hedgehog One. Sonic the Hedgehog One, and I played two and three. Oh, very old school. Fair enough. Very old school. Yeah. No. I will get this add on. That's right. There we go. Just trying to see if I can do what you've done, get the history up. Sorry. There we go, so. First Sonic game was Sonic the Hedgehog, which a lot of people played. That's the classic, the old retro one. Yep. Which a lot yeah, of people played. Yeah, they've been lost, they've yeah. And then uh, it was Sonic 2, which I played that one as well. Yeah. Which introduced his uh, good friend Tails. Yeah, then, was it Knuckles? Was it Knuckles? No. Sonic. And then Knuckles introduced... Uh, yeah, then, apparently... There was going to be like a Sonic and Knuckles all mashed together, but then there were time constraints, so both there was two games in the same year. Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic and Hedgehog 3. Yeah. Oh, don't mind. Next one, Sonic Se Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, really? which is a spin off game by the looks of yeah. it. Yeah. Then there was Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which that's when it introduced, as you just said, Knuckles. Yeah. Mr. Angry. And then they followed that on with Sonic and Knuckles, which is a combined game. Yeah. Then there was Sonic Pinball, which yeah, I fun. did play that a lot. That was a really good game. Yeah, I need to give that a try. And then, 
No. Sonic 3D Blast? I don't know Sonic and Imagine Wings, but I haven't gone to get them. Sort of. <laughs> that just sounds so uh, bad. Yeah. Sonic CD? Mm, yeah. Which introduced Amy, which is mm. uh, Sonic's love interest, if you don't know. That's the little Amy. pink one with the hammer. Oh, yeah. That is always in love with Sonic. And it introduced uh, his em nemesis, Metal Sonic, as well. Give oh. me a bit of history lesson here. So what do you call Dr. Eggman Robotnik? Because he got two names. It's so confusing. Robotnik. I call him Dr. Egg Egg Eggman. Eggman. Yes. Eggman. I am the Eggman. Yes. Dr. Eggman. Not Robotnik. Then there is a spin-off of Knuckles game. There is a spin-off Knuckles game called Knuckles Chaotic. Mm. And then there was a puzzle game for Sonic release called Sega so Game to to Tashi to Dashcon Dashcon. Yeah. And then they introduce the Master System and Game Gear, and out that. Mm -hmm. Then they release Sonic the Hedgehog onto different consoles. Yeah. Then, yeah, then we dip on the way. And yeah, and then they had Sonic Chaos, Sonic and Tails, which was released in Japan only, apparently. Ah, uh, it's not done well then. Sonic Triple, Sonic so Triple game. and Sonic Tails 2, again, was only released in Japan. Mm. Sonic Blast. Sonic Drift and Sonic Drift 2, which is the first like interpretation of Sonic racing games. Then we Tails Adventure. This is 96. So we got late 90s, so we go to the 2000s then. Late yeah. 90s. There's no, still the some more late 90s. Okay. There was Sonic Extreme as well. Going to a history lesson now. Got Sonic. <laughs> then for the Dreamcast, we're moving on now. Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Mm. Sonic Adventures. Sonic Adventures Directors of Cut. Sonic Adventures 2 was released on PS2. Sonic Adventures 2 Battle. I'm not going to go through all the history, but I think you get it. There's been a lot of <laughs> releases. Yeah. For There is also the one where you turn it into a werewolf, which I believe that was Sonic uh, on another yeah, on that PS2. Was, I think I was that was trash. That was weird. I there is also Dawn Sonic Jet Riders. That was one of my favourite games. I absolutely love that. Have you ever played it, that? It, no, I'm sorry, I need to try that. Basically, I'm like hoverboards. Oh, really? It is an awesome That's game. I played one and two. It was one of my really? favourites back in the day. Wow. I mean, did you play Sonic Unleashed back in the day? Yes. Oh, it's, a, it's a good game. It was a good game. It's alright. And then, it's right. and then I, what do you think? Do you, obviously, Mario. And then, also, what do you think of Mario? He's quite fun. Mario's quite Yeah, they're, they're both good. They've The thing is, they've both gone down similar paths. They've both had a load of games. They've both like yeah. gone into racing games. Mm. I know Sonic hasn't done as much like spin -offs. No, definitely no. And I but think... then, you know, they've also... It's kind of weird, because they've gone their own paths, done their own games. Yes, yeah, Kind of in the middle, when I like, after have come together to, obviously, the Winter Olympics and the... Spill, yeah, also. Um, Olympic yeah. games. Yeah, yeah I was, and they, they skipped one, the Olympics, but they're coming back this year, 2020. Fair enough. They're doing... Yeah, so that'd be good. Apparently, it all... Everyone... Everyone's wearing proper sport clothes this time. Hopefully, oh. hopefully you get to choose any character this time, any character. And then they okay. kind of joined together. Yeah, well, that sounds good. And then they kind of was both in Super Smash Brothers, which isn't really a Mario game, but kind of more yeah. is his game. But Sonic is in it. Yeah. I and then I feel like they've kind of copied each other because they've both just gone for racing now because Sonic's yeah. come out with yeah. a racing game. Yeah, that's right. And is Mario's it? come out of a racing to game. To be fair... Sega is bigger than Nintendo's rival. They are uh, rivals. Uh, out, out of, was it like some called Atari? That was a rival to Nintendo. Then it went by. Because to be fair, Sega, Sega is a smaller company compared to Nintendo. They won't do well. Yeah, but Ant um, Thingy got based in London one though. Which one's the one that's got office based in London? Sega. Sega. Yeah, because yeah, every time you go to London on the travel, you see the Sonic pitch in the building. Yeah. But yeah, I think to be fair, it's a spoiler company because it wasn't doing well with the game. So then Sonic came along, that was competition for Nintendo. Yeah. And also, they both play similar as well. They do. Also, he's a hedgehog and he's a plumber. They, they, like, they, like they haven't got like jump. special power where they are. Jump, but yeah. They're, a big, they're both basic characters with basic games. Yeah, but they're very memorable. And also, they do jump up. There's coins, but then there's rings. Yeah, coins yeah, that's what I mean. You're similar, yeah. Similar, and they've all and they both got a lot of spin-off characters. Yeah, I can see why. So it's hard this one because they're so similar. Yeah, but I think Mario's doing quite well than compared to Sonic. 
at the moment, yeah. Yeah, because I heard, was it Sonic and the Magic Rings, even though I played this right? I, I think that was ne it nearly killed the Sonic franchise, that's why. <laughs> Sonic franchise has been dead. <laughs> so, the Sonic and the Magic Rings has. It, it, so, it nearly killed the franchise, Sega. Yeah. And then there, then there was Sonic Unleashed, and then there's Sonic Boom. Yes, oh right. yeah, I heard about Sonic Boom, that was trash apparently. So, I don't know if there's going to be another game of Sonic, I'm not sure they're making another Yeah, and if you look at it financial wise, Mario is the one that's doing better. Obviously, and tell, yeah. And now obviously it doesn't look like Sonic and his film's kind of been backtracked and, well, because he didn't look like Sonic. No, he did not, and he got his team and he got big runner legs, it's a bit like weird. Like that. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh god. So who are you going with? And, and uh, they're given a redesign next year, so hopefully it'll be worth it. Hopefully. Time will tell. Hopefully. Yeah. So who's better? I'm going to go Sonic. I know Mario's got a lot more games, but I've always been a more of a Sonic fan than Mario, to be honest. It was in terms of graphics, or just like the character? Just the character. and I, I think I he's can... got a lot more interest in side characters as well. Yeah. A bit more of a depth and morphster to it. Not a side. Fair enough, I'm going to go with Mario. Cause quite okay. We're not agreeing on this episode today. Ooh, we told you it's Mario. very different opinions. It's very old school and new school. Uh, next know. one. How are we doing for time? We're not doing too bad for time, are you? GTA vs. Saints Row. Ooh. So, uh, I don't know much about Saints Both you... similar games. Yeah. It's just GTA is a bit more of a serious one. For example, and this will probably Saints Row, you can get a weapon as a dildo. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally. I can't believe I've been talking about this on camera, but yeah. There's a dildo sword that you can get. Really? It's a bit more. It's, really? It's silly like that. Like you can get silly weapons and like you can get a weapon where they dance really? and shit like really? that. Really? Why? So it what? depends what you like, really. you got over serious with GTA, which all my mates rave and crave about. They always go on about it and they've always yeah. tried to get me to play it, and I'm like, no. And then you got GTA, uh, Saints Row, which is more of the funny one. And only fact with GTA is there's a lot more games out than there is uh, yeah. Saints Row. Yeah. So why you do like GTA? What's your problem with GTA, man? It just bores me. I don't How's like games that are too serious. Is it because of this lack of telling you what to do? Is more like you don't do much missions. Do you think the missions? No, are it's just I'm gonna have to second do set things because you're not quite in camera. There we go. Okay. There we go. Um, no, I've just always preferred Saints Row. What, I just do you like prefer... it. You like it because I not like serious. more funny and. I'm not one of these people that like serious games. Like I know Spider-Man can, but you can still have fun that game. It's, that's why I say it's either, uh, realism or funniness, and I take funny games. Like I have played GTA games. I played G GTA San Andreas and Geronimo and so I loved that one because there was a load of cheat codes. Really? So I only played that one for fun. Okay. I never completed any of the story modes. Never completed it. Mm. I've played GTA Vice City on the PSP. Mm. But I don't know, I've just always been into Saints Row. It's just more funny and more... They're both dodgy games because you can both, like, you know... Kill, pe yeah. kill people, perform sex in both games, one that shit. Yeah. Um, and I suppose GTA for customization, GTA is better, yeah. Yeah, and you got better graphics, and I don't know, maybe it might better be. graphics as well. Yeah. Yes, I think uh, GTA. I like GTA because it's a universe full of crime, and you actually feel like you're in a universe as well. It's what, like even when you're drifting through. I think the best part is driving through, and also you get great characters like Vince as well. But I suppose it's an escape from um, realism, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, it there is some human GTA. Like it does make fun. Th the word of crime and the hill on the radio. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah. I like it like you can play, was it last year? You could play Rihanna and you go in the world when you're drifting through. <laughs> yeah, we could play pop music in the car. It's great. Yeah, it's real in that way. I'll give it that. Yeah, it's quite fun. And you have your apartment and you've got a helicopter rides. Yeah, it, feels like, it. it feels like Real City they took a lot of effort to be in that city. Yeah, they've got a lot of fair play to the creators, but. Yeah. I, know, I don't know what came first, GTA or... I think GTA came first. So, yeah. So a lot of people do so, say Saints Row is a copycat, but... So Saints Row could be, like, taking a piss out of GTA. Well, that's... 
a fun version of GTA. I don't know. Or I, I'm not into it. So I yeah. think you know what mine is. Mine is Saints Row. Well, mine will be GTA and Code Saints Row, much like I have an opinion on it. So that's a short way. <laughs> Ah, short and easy, but that's alright. We've got two other subjects to talk about. Lemon squeezy. Old school versus new school. This swear is definitely going to be a lot of different debates. Uh, okay. Opinions. Okay. So you go first. So with the old school, I think, I think just a lot of fun in them, and lot. And there's so much difference in them, like Space Invaders, and there's Pac Man for the coin. <laughs> Obviously, without Pac Man, all you wouldn't get all these fun games. Today, in true, they did start them. And yeah, it, that, yes. It is always fun to go to an arcade and play it games. Is. I think that's the true power of gaming as well. I, but nowadays, you can go. As in town, there's one. You, there's a VR set as well. You can still play VR sets and gaming. Oh. And there's ar, there's an arcade in in Broadmoor, which is really good. That's, yes, that's, been there a few times. You. Play Nation. It's called Play Nation now, but no, so. I have that. You want my chatting? Drinks taken over. Drinks taken. Yeah, it's called Play Nation now. It's sick. Uh, sick blast. Sick. sick. So how long are we going for old school? Uh, old school, two two thousands, yeah. And then you go as far back as you want. <laughs> uh, my old school. Let's put it this way. My old school recognition. Old. Oh, blah, blah, blah. My old school recognition, where I get old school game from, or what I recognise as old school game, is the Sega. Yeah. And the PS1. Yeah. That's the two main games I played back in the day. Cause my uncle had a Sega and a PS1. Did you play the 8-bit ones or no? I heard they're not very good. No, I didn't. No, I heard they're not doing So, I, I have played old school and I do get why people like it. It's just a nigestic... nigestic yeah, I I know right. with old school, there's a lot more ideas. But then with the new school, it's about... They're kind of similar. I think they're kind of relying... <clears throat> they're trying to be the... Uncharted kind of may, may like be the real... Tomb Raider, that's what I get. Well, they, they are similar the ways. The yeah. They do copy each other, or they're trying to be the next violent game. I think some games should rely on too much violence and more on create. Yeah. Fun. I think I think get why I get why people like old school or Nintendo. I like violent games. They put a lot of effort to like CDO. You feel like you're an actual background. You'll find zombies. It's fun. It's yeah. fun with friends. You know what I mean. That for, for for me, I like I like where the games are more fun and it doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah, I get that. But I don't. Know, I've just always been in yeah. to new school. Like I said, I played old school. I played the Sega. I played the PS One. I had the PS Two. I did have yeah. an Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty at one yeah. point. I still have a Nintendo Wii to this day. Um, but I've just grown. I've always been into new school. I just think there's a lot more potential in new school. There's a lot more game ranging with new school. There's a lot more options with new school. Yeah. Um. You know, I've played NBA back in the day when it was like yeah. on PS2, and I've played it. Obviously, I've got it now whilst it's on PS4. But I've just always found that the new generation of gaming has more interesting storylines. As like I said, more yeah. variety. Yeah. The there, there is similarities. Like take effort in, yeah. I think a them trying to be rivals, trying Yeah, like trend back in the day, you didn't have to worry about rivals. There weren't much creativity. That's another thing. I feel there's a lot more creativity to newer games, newer generation of gaming. Because really? you've got to think there's so much competition out there when there's, when when it comes to gaming nowadays. Yeah. You've got to like, come up with new ideas, new stuff, or otherwise yeah. you get left in the dust. But, yeah, but the problem is all these games got crazy. They always... Yeah, some but they, they, they put the top. They go put in the corner and then there's Fortnite. People, they get overexposed. Fortnite gets more publicity than some of the previous. Oh, yeah, there is that. Like, there yeah, is the bad side of that. Like, some games will just get. What, at no matter what, FIFA is another good example. Yeah, some games are all about profit, popularity. That's what some of them get. And there's bad things about new school gaming. Like, I can't say I'm not guilty to it because I've done it. Like, with the new school gaming, you've got a. Like for pack openings, you might have seen on my channel. Yes, yeah, so M- NBA. Yeah, that's when you good. do pack yeah. openings, you've got to actually spend the money to get the coins on the game. That's quite exciting, yeah. Which is exciting, like you said, yeah. But then it can become addictive, like I don't. Yeah, like. but also it's a good thing. Is there like these? Remember all these crappy mobile games? And they so like Michael transfer, Michael transaction. Yeah, game. that's what I mean. So they complement you. Then all oh, 
Buy more things. Hey? Back in the old days, you didn't have to worry about that sort of stuff. You could just unlock it or do certain things. Yeah. To get that. So you got to agree. Ten years ago, it was, it was a lot simpler. The Wii. Yeah, that's why a lot. Ten years ago, it was a lot simpler. Like, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Simpler. Like. The Wii. Yeah. Last, like last, the old generation. You wouldn't have spent forty, fifty quid on a game. Yeah. Let's game, put this. Way. Yeah. Let's so, put this way. I've bought NBA. And I'm still spending money on it, on it, and I've spent probably this weekend forty quid on pack openings. Jeez, God, come chill. God, chill. <laughs> did today. <laughs> yeah, God, really chill. Uh, but back in the old days, I wouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah. So there so is could, that. Yeah, that's the thing. Also with game, they they rip people off. You know, the the shop game, they rip people off the price. Oh yeah, them. like the price are spent like and nowadays a normal P a PS4 game is about fifty quid. One of the games I've ordered, which I know this is all choice, like with games, it's all choice. So you could say, I'm an idiot, it's my fault. But it's yeah. just the samples and us just talking in general. Like, I've ordered a game, Spy Spider, Spider, Cyberpunk 2077, and it's cost me 250 because I've gone and got a collector's edition, mm -hmm. which comes with a statue and everything. Like I said, my fault, yeah. But back in the day, you didn't even have that option of getting a collector's edition or, like, a luxury edition, like another game I've ordered, the Net's Need, Need for Speed. That's mm. hundred quid for just a collector's, uh, yeah. like special edition one. Back in the day, you didn't have that choice, so that's why it was. It made it easier just to not spend so much money. Yeah, definitely. That's one thing. Another thing I don't like is how gaming it's got so much more expensive. Like the next con PS Five, when it comes out, is rumored to be like six hundred quid. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I wish it was a lot simpler. Yeah, I, and I feel I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying Nintendo's on the way out, but I feel like Nintendo, Nintendo got a lot of competition on its hands, especially with CD, um, Call of Duty. And let's say Nintendo's more popular than it was ten oh, years yeah, ago. Oh yeah, definitely more. Yeah, popular so than it was. I am but worried about the future. Well, no doubt people will love Mario Kart, and also you've got Mario Kart on the iPhone now and mobile apps as well. You can play on your phone now, which is which is cool. Yeah. It's got a bit of problems, but then it's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. So I, I think I think get, I think there's a stereotype of gaming is all about violence. But I think no. I I want people to ch I will hopefully change that perception. Yeah, there is that. There is that kind of like mm. perception that games cause violence and whatnot. But yeah. like we said and touched on, it's not the games that cause it. Yeah. I play, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example of a game I play. God of War. Mm. That's a violent game. You've got <laughs> an axe in the game and you go around axing people. Mm. Alright, there are some games that are too extreme, like, I don't know if you remember it, Manhunt. Mm. Not Manhunt, no. It might have been called that, it might have been called another game, but you basically like had a, you could go around killing people with a chainsaw or all sorts, Jeez. apparently. Yeah. There are some games that get too graphic and too... Yeah, you can do a to the end. Like, you know, whoa... But then you know, like War Combat. Remember you showed me. Was yeah. it? Was it? Hey, that's perfect sample. Yeah. Gradual, uh. <laughs> yeah. Remember Mortal the Mortal Combat. Yeah. What was it? You choose death for me. One of the the death moves. One of the final Split moves. Split you in half. Yeah. Suck it or hurt someone's spine, and it's very very graphic. That's what I mean. And, and uh, kids, kids, I don't. Well, I up to what kids, but kids exploit to that. So I'm, I can't say anything on that because I do love the game. I've just gone and bought a new one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, that's thanks to the person's attitude and how they take games. I, I, you know, I play Mortal Kombat, yeah. I could go around trying to yeah. spit people out, I but think, obviously I think... Yeah. I think parents got a responsibility. If you're going to buy a game that's over the age, your child's age, you've got to be careful as well. It's up to you, but then don't blame the, the game, so blame yourself. But then any game could be addictive, because yeah, so could be like Fortnite, Fortnite yeah. for example, my little brother fucking loves it, you don't play it non-stop. Basically, Fortnite's... I can't, I'm... Basically, the Fortnite is the Jake Paul of huge <laughs> gaming. You I can't say much, I love NBA, I'm addicted to NBA for at the moment. Fortnite is like, a, it's a piece of wang, it's an insult to gaming. It's like, you, you kill people and you walk off a dance, it's just very cheesy. And people get, I don't know why people get addicted to it. So yeah. Uh, you know, people, there's cons for both. There's cons for the old generation, but there's also like disadvantages for the old generation. Because yeah. the cons of the, in this is my opinion, the cons of the old generation is you wouldn't have to spend much money because you don't have the choice to. Yeah. There's not like exploiting you to all this violence because they want 
that many no Final much. games back in the day. No, but then the disadvantages, they didn't really go that far. It was pretty simple and basic, mm. quite a lot of them. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Whereas new generation, disadvantages, yeah, you can, like I just said, spend loads on games and still spend money once you get the game. Because yeah. FIFA's the same, got packaged yeah. games on FIFA. Uh, yeah. And also, what about gaming is, you can connect with people more than you can go online with well, your friends. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's, that's fun. That's fun. That's, that's fun. the general. That's the good thing about old generation gaming and new generation, where it ties it together. Yeah. You can use it to just meet new people, make friends, or play with your friends as play well. Play with at friends, home. have yeah, a drunk that's... night, can, drunken night on yeah. gaming. Yeah. Made from some of the best memories. Makes oh, memories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, it is difficult. I I do like world gaming. I like new gaming and then it's old gaming so um, uh, I'm gonna go with the 2000s it's old like, it's generation like also older generation then uh, but like what about you you're gonna go new yeah there you go I thought, um, I, thought, I, thought, I, thought I could change his mind but no 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 because I just think of NBA and I think now yeah I know to be fair old gaming does have some crappy graphics even PS2 but then some are fun. Yeah, but, but it's not all about the graphics. That's true. People, I, you know, I gameplay. Yeah, I games are about graphics in a way, but they're yeah, not. Fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's you like, know. Yeah. Also, did you play Goldeneye? Oh, that's a really good. Golden yes, game. I used to play that all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah. I played that's good with Gordon and Evan. Yeah, that's a good game. Old friends. Old um, friends. <laughs> people mm. watch it. Uh, next subject, because. I don't even know what time we're on, but... Singstar vs Guitar Hero. Ah, uh, yes. With Chuck DJ here and there as well. But how, about, uh, what how about Just Dance? That's disgusting. Just Dance. Yeah. There you go, make it a four-way. Just Dance, DJ Hero, Guitar Hero and Singstar. And Rock Band. <laughs> they're all music kind of genres. Yeah, so... So, so I'll start on this one. Um, I haven't played much Singstar. Neither have I. But, again, I that's a game I think is... <laughs> Excuse me. A bit like Mario Kart, a game where if you was pissed, it would be an absolute laugh. Yeah, it's a bit like it's a bit like karaoke, but fun. Just like dance. Karaoke, we've, no, no. I've played. You got points for it. It's like karaoke, but you get points for it. It's fun. Yeah, I think depends how much you're into <laughs> music now, because they yeah, all these games yeah. tied to music. Yeah, there was there's a rat one, and then there's like Abba one. It's fun. There's a Black Eyed Peas one in there. Yeah, I think it's just done. Yeah. Let's get the time. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then you got Just Dance. Oh, it is fun day. I've, there's a photo of us online where we do Just Dance. Yeah, so, that's copyrighted. So, well, if it's still on, because I still see it. But Check some, out if it's still on there. You are Somewhere it's been muted. But, but yeah, it is muted. But it's quite fun. Um, also, it, it could warn you out. It's good energy. It's, it's just, good fun. they're just general fun, yeah. fun games. Yeah. They're I just games you can pick up and play, like Guitar Hero, you can play that as two players. Yeah, Guitar Hero, you can play for like a rock star and you get to play the net, it's good. You and it makes you enjoy the rock music as well, and also for the, also the young generation I think can if enjoy you're it. More, yeah, that's what I mean, because any generation can play, well, no. It's more for the teenager slash adults, yeah. those kind of things, because obviously with Singstar and all those kind of games, you don't have the old generation music like... Elvis Presley and yeah. all that. I don't, if correct us from all in the comments, I don't know if they do, but the, la the last Just Dance game I played didn't have any Elvis Presley or stuff no. like that. No. So it's definitely for the teenage slash adults, but they, it's most those games are just games you can pick up anytime, have a laugh, whether you're drunk or sober. Because I've played guitar by myself when I'm sober and I really enjoy it. It's a really fun game. Same yeah. with GTA Hero. Yeah. There was some there was some games based on after like the Beatles and then Rock Band, and then I don't know it was definitely a Black Eyed Peas one, and then yeah, MJ, MJ, and then that's why we need to be spin off. Yeah, spin -off. and it gets young generations to their music as well. Yeah, and there's some uh, fun. Like, yeah, like uh, what's the one? Oh my God, my style. Whoop, yeah, whoop. Whoop. Oh, but up. yeah, that was fun. Everyone knows that uh, one. Yeah, and then you've got K-pop, where you can dance, you get to know K-pop routines as well. K yeah, it, it does exploit you to music. And different, there's different genres, like Tina, either, like Bad Bunny, or was, I don't know, like T Cardi B, and then they do play some Star Cardi B. B. Bulldog Yellow. So, Ow. I think we'll keep this one sweet and simple. 
I'm gonna go out of the four. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start now because I said DJ Ho and Guitar are two of my favourite games. Um, DJ Ho is really good. Have you, you played uh, Rum DMC and then there's Bonk? Did they play Bonkers as well? Yeah, yeah you mix it. That's ah, sick, that's sick. Um, uh, what, what did I play with you once? I must have played with you once. Yeah, but you was trash. <laughs> <laughs> you be on par. You be on. I'm honest with him. He knows what I'm like. Um, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, gonna have to go. Guitar Hero. I'll go with. Oh, it's a good point. I'm gonna say. I think it's. Good. I'm gonna say. Guitar Hero as well. But I was on DS. Guitar Hero. There we go. There we go. Why are we fighting? We got three on. Yes. Yes. Oh, card. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's the gaming subject of this uh, thingy, this thingy, this podcast. Yeah, so how long did we go? Long we this go? on the second recording, so we're on 41 minutes. Oh, that's quite good. I think we've run, wow, we did actually be pretty good. So, right, so sucking out. That's the gaming part. We're going to talk about just general things we've uh, seen. Well, there's three main things we're going to talk about on this bit, and then it'll be our yeah. list. So, first thing... We'll do the most one that I think we won't talk about that long. Charlie Angels trailer, the reboot of Charlie Angels with um Naomi Scott and yeah, all the others in there or whatever it is, mm. I don't know. Looking forward to it, what are you thinking of it? I um, it's I don't know why I don't know why this happened because there, there's already a film of it and then a TV show with Karen Diaz. Um, yeah, I watched the original one, it was alright. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like female Ghostbusters. Is it necessary? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's alright for what it is. Um, the trailer, the, my opinion is the trailer looked alright. Yeah, I'm not going to go and watch it in the cinema. Yeah. Because it's not a film that I'm thinking, oh, cinema trip, got to go and watch it. No, no. You know. I think it's more like for a girls' film. We say. Yeah, it's more of a girls' like to make girls feel empowered and whatnot, which there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing yeah. empowered, but it's not. You can relate to it. Unless I can really like, relate to it. It's I like th- like it's like the new Alo- Ocean's Eleven. Was it Ocean's? Oh, no. yeah, eleven or twelve. Yeah, well, the, yeah, they had, had, they had the, lineup. Yeah, they had Rihanna, um, yeah. Hello Boncara. Uh, that was a good cast, but then uh, it's not something. Yeah, there were people when it looked talented, but yeah, it's not, yeah. You know, if it comes out on the now TV box, I'll give it give it a try. Some, give it a some girls kicking ass. That'd be good. Some some you know. that'd, that'd be good. Girls kick ass as well as If men. it's a comedy, I don't know if it's a comedy as well. That'd be, that was, that, that I, think, I can't just... remember the last one. I think there was a bit of comedy in the yeah, last one. Yeah, there was a bit of comedy. But if this one's li- less, more serious, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably I, what's I, I, what do you think of the song with Miley Cyrus? And the song's alright. Yeah, but it's very forgettable. Yeah, it's not and, uh, then, anything special. Yeah, you got compared, was it... Uh, Destiny's Child, Bootylicious. No, that or, was better. No, um, all the women. No, that all, one was uh, better. Big, big yeah, that was that was for the Charlie's Angels soundtrack. And then you got this song, My Cyrus Ariana Grande. And Don't go wrong, I love Ariana Grande. Miley Cyrus is one of my favourites as well. Yeah, not La- too much on Lana, but yeah, Lana is very different compared to them. They all yeah, Lana's a bit more of an opera singer, isn't she? Well, classical, yeah. Classical. Well, well, it's like classical pop with yeah, old independent pop, indie pop. Indie pop. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. It's that. So yeah. This song's sorry, Ariana Grande. It's it's alright. The right. song's alright. The trailer looks alright. We'll watch Al- it. Alana was songs. underused. What's the point of Alana? Yeah, she, she never... wasn't used that well on it. That's the yeah. thing. Next yeah. thing. KSI for slogan two. The press conference. Ugh. My God. Where yeah. do you want me to start? All I'm gonna say now. I'm gonna keep this sweet and simple. The press conference was shit. Two main reasons, right? I know Eddie Haynes, or Eddie Herms, whatever his fucking name is, is trying to make it professional, and that's fine. That's fair play. And he don't want YouTubers on the undercard. Yeah. But how does he think that he's going to sell it? Because people like me, who are only going to watch it for the KSI yeah. first slogan, aren't interested in boxing. And that's nothing against boxers. I respect boxers. I respect what they do in that ring. Yeah. You know? But it does, that sport in particular doesn't interest me. The reason I'm interested in KSI First Logan is because it's to do with YouTube. It's something I've watched for a while, you know. Yeah. So to have just boxes on the undercard, it ain't going to work. People no. are just going to do what... Yeah. Well, I'm certainly going to do this. Not watch the show and just mm. watch the main event. 
At yeah. least have make it like make it a mixture. Yeah, have a mixture. Yeah, of boxers and um, YouTubers. Like, they're all right. Don't get the shit ones in. The ones that want good. <laughs> but you could, as much as I hate to admit this, and he is a fucking twat, and I hate him. Jake Paul for Anson Gibb would be a good match. Mm. You probably know who Anson Gibb's there, but uh, yeah. that would be a good match. And there's a few others that would have a good match or against Fen Sensei. You know, make it a mixture. Yeah. And then the second thing I want to say about con that's just in general. And the other thing I want to say about the press conference is it was shit because you, none of the commentators knew what was fucking going on or knew nothing about KSI or Logan Paul. Mm. And then the actual press conference, it was just a load of like children. Like the com like the um things they were saying to each other were like what you say at school, like your breath stinks, you've got no dick. It's like Yeah. Exactly. Make it interesting. Let, it, let, let's put it this way. It didn't make me any more hyped for the fight. No. Yeah, you got... Yeah, I think... I agree with you. I don't think having boxers in doesn't make any sense. I think it's just making a YouTube event. I know they're trying to make it more serious or add credibility, but no. Yeah, but I mean, it, there's going to be a mix of audiences. You've got boxing fans. Yeah, I get that. Then you got... Children, and then you got YouTuber fans, people, YouTubers. That's gonna be a weird audio, I don't know. It's not gonna be for everybody. Yeah, but they've so, made it serious by removing the headgear and making it 10 ounce gloves. Yeah, that's true. I, yeah. And the press conference, like I said, I'm also annoyed yeah. the press conference is Shannon yeah. Brick. Let's go, Chan! Let's go, Chan! <laughs> that was fucking annoying. Yeah. yeah. That's all you you fucking heard half time. I know, let's go, Chan. But I, I thought they were actually gonna fight during the. What, just for and then doing the face, yeah, face up, yeah. There, you got a pair of last year. There was a lot of hype. I, don't, I mean, I, last year was some more. No, but I know, I know, it got a bit rowdy, especially in London. It got a bit rowdy. Even to Geordie didn't speak. Yeah, and it's like, who's no, going to be the commentators for this? Because if you get boxing commentators in, yeah, they don't know nothing about KSI or Logan Paul. Yeah, it's not going to make it interest. Like, you need commentators that yeah. know what they're talking so about. So it's not going to be the same without you, Geordie, and then you got. Steve and also, Price. I think because it's been like a year, the hype's kind of died down now. It is definitely kind of like died down, especially that. No, because when Logan Paul first came, that was a big moment for YouTube, especially. Yeah. That was it. Got yeah, got a lot of views. People are trying to illegally download it. You watched it yourself, and well, the, that must be electric. It was electric. I was there live. And would you, was there like a mix of people there or something? Yeah. Like, there's like a mix of people, there's children, was there kids or? No, it's mostly imagine? adults. Oh, there you go. There was a fight that broke out at an event. Fuck, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just Manchester for you. <laughs> Sorry, Manchester. <laughs> oh, gonna cause beef no, with the... Uh, Manchester, oh God. Manchester peeps. We're gonna have angry comments. Um, you so what, yeah. You what, lass? <laughs> Just step it up. I think step up, but yeah, I think it's definitely died. They should have done this like three months. Three I think there's another press in. conference in the UK, but oh, I don't know luck. when. But you know, it's gonna be fuck the pools. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Obviously, KSI and Logan Paul's beef was obviously very stage. And obviously, in the end, remember, they're all talking to each other. They feel like they're about to kiss each other at one point. Well, that's what I mean. Jake Paul and Lil, like. There's you get on now, apparently. Yeah, then there's KSI, Logan Paul. They all thought... Do you see them when um, the people were talking? Yeah, they're all like, talking to each other without the mic on. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know what else we were talking about. Maybe how much money they got. <laughs> it's all for the money. Yeah. I don't know. Like, It looks like they'll give a banter. Bants. So, I I don't know if they actually hate each other now. I, don't, um, I think they feel like it's died down a little bit, the hype. It's definitely died down. So, yeah. Just make Easy it better. Feel. Make us more interested. That's yeah. all we want. Maybe... Uh, Maybe add more to the match card. Maybe have DMX again. Uh, DMX. Sorry, GMX. GMX. <laughs> GMX. DMX. No, that's a rapper. So I'd be interested to see him fight, but yeah. yeah no, GMX. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> Next thing we want to talk about. Um, I want to just clarify before I t we talk about this, because one of this is a bad point for me. I didn't, obviously, the NIST news broke out yesterday, so yeah. when I ripped my NAT off the chain list, one of the things I was <laughs> It's on there. It's from a while ago. Just want to clear it out so you don't watch it. Well, why is he said this bad thing? And then, yeah. yeah. Basically, what we're talking about. So, I'm back in the MCU for at least <laughs> at least two more films, apparently. So, so there's going to be Spider-Man 3. The rumour yeah, is yep. that Marvel and Sony are going to do Spider-Man 3 together. They're going to let him be in one more Avengers film or another Ooh. big film. Oh, okay. And then that's it. Obviously, 
Eag, um, Falcon. Or they do a new deal. Obviously, Falcons could be one of the leaders, and then Hawkeye probably. That's what you said. Hawkeye's gonna be probably the next Iron Man. Who knows? But yeah, that's. we I'm happy. You know. That's good news. After yeah, that was a that was a, a scary few weeks for Marvel fans because. Also, we've got to know the cliffhanger, what happened in Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, well, at least that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah it was gonna, uh, MJ and Spider-Man got together, then there was a there was a big twist in the end. And we, oh, and then Sony was like, nope. Nope. You, you're not allowed to M- Spider-Man the MCU anymore. That's ours now. Nope. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let, let's have a new one. Let's but it's because they want to do their spy first, don't they? Yeah. Because they want to do like Venom with Spidey in some point. Well, they can wait. They can wait for sure. I bet. <laughs> I, I bet yeah, I bet Uncle Ben's like, yes, do not kill me anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but, um, I'm yeah. I'm happy they've done it. I don't think this would be long term. I think, again. Yeah. But at least the thing I look at is at least they can finish the story off. So if yes. He, if he does go, like, if, say, three years' time. Yeah. When the next Avenger film is, or four years, whenever the next fin- Avenger film comes out. Not that it's guaranteed he's going to be in it, because they said one other big film. They haven't said an Avengers film specifically. But, come on, it's probably going to be that. Yeah. At least they can wrap up his storyline. At least they can send him off in a good way. Yeah. Not just leave it on a cliffhanger and be like, Oh no, you've got to go now. Don't mention about Tony Stark. Don't mention about the glasses. Yeah. Just piss off and... <laughs> you know, at least they can... Wrap it up, and I don't know. Maybe say yeah. he's gone to the mul- into the multiverse. Who knows? That'd be good, good. He's on a different planet now, but at least they can finish the storyline up. You know. Yeah. See what happens. Tie all the knots up. See what happens, and then hopefully we'll get him in Venom three or yeah, two. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll see new villains like Doctor Octopus. You know. That'd be quite good to see Doctor Octopus in. Yeah. MCU. Well, the next one apparently rumor is Crave on the Hunter. Oh, okay. But yeah, we're happy basically. We're happy, happy days. We happy fa- days. We're better annoyed, but now we're happy now. MCU is in a agreement for now. Two for films. now. Two films. That's alright. I'm fine with that. For now. So now, we're going to go on to our. Now I'm not having that. And our. Off the chains. I'll start with my Off the Chains. Uh, Outpost, which is a TV series. I think it's quite an old TV. Not an old. Uh, you ready? What's that about? It's like a medieval program, but it's oh. got like so it's like pro- so like primeval or something. Something like that, like that but yeah. Outpost. Uh, Outpost. I think it's in the second series, and it's I think it came out last year. But I've just been really addicted to it and watching like episode after episode last. So really, movie. is it? It's not like Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's like no. And I'm not into like medieval stuff, but for some reason this one's caught my eye and got me really in- intrigued. So I've been watching a lot of that. Um, MM. Mini Minster or Simon's videos from Side Men. I've been mean, doing a lot of his. Two. Yeah, we'll be in a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, Simon's videos slash M- Mini Minster as you know him from Side Men. Really been into his videos for lately and watching them. Okay. AEW's All Out event, even though the PlayStation fucked me over, I still managed to watch <laughs> it. YouTube, private. Um, uh, amazing event, absolutely amazing. Love AEW. NXT Cardiff Takeover again, Ooh. absolute fucking amazing show. Loved That's it. And then finally, but not least, which is definitely going to make me go and watch it next week, the latest Joker trainer. Yes, you know what's Joker next week then? Yeah, I heard it's really good. It's a good Yeah, I've heard it's good as well. So yeah, that's good. fine. Okay, do you say not having that or you don't? No, do your things first and I'll do my eyes. Okay, number one, Spider-Man MCU. Yes, that's good news. Number two, uh, there's a new song out with a BTS member, J Hope. It's called Chicken Noodle Soup. It's called it's called Dance to It. Chicken Noodle Soup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It goes Chicken Noodle Soup, Chicken Noodle Soup, Chicken Noodle Soup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got this, but uh, trust me, the dance will be on TikTok. There'll be there'll be a trend. Trust me. A trend. J Hope. Yeah. Check that out. Chicken Noodle Soup. With J Ho featuring Becky G, so yeah. Uh, then number three, my birthday month is my my birthday, and then Aaron's birthday next month. Yay! It's Libra season. Mine, I'm a Virgo, and he's a Libra. If you follow horoscopes, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. So that it next week will be Libra season for him. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to celebrate my birthday for a week. I did. 
because we've so much but Live why it up, not? why not? Number why four, not? uh Dakashi means <laughs> so uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's funny. Dakashi. Last oh we forgot to talk about that. Well that's no, alright. So the story is about basically Dakashi he's been in jail for he you see he's looking for life with sex offences. But in order to reduce it or gaujo he had to snitch on fellow gang members. And he's been a snitch and then he said something about Carly B being part of a gang. <laughs> So yeah, but know, apparently yeah. the reason he snitched, and I'm just yeah, going by rumours, is because they threatened to kill him and raped his gang bang and his girlfriend. Apparently, yeah. So that's very weird. And also, he's going to be in this production program. So he's been there. But well, don't blame him. But also, there's um, the funny side is of memes. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the memes. They're pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. So about even knows where Man McCann is or where's Wally, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then like, do you know? I know where Wakanda is. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny. Um, number five, Sasha Banks has returned to be. I don't think I discussed this last month, I know. So she has returned since uh, one of the last pay per view. She returned. Oh, yeah. So it's happy days. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Sasha Banks. Ooh! That's so happy. <laughs> Oosh! Oosh! Okay, you go with five number Right, but nah, it's not having that. First of all, the most important one Kevin Hart's accident. Because I don't know the latest. But he's alright, he's, he's done alright, he's alright. From what I've heard, he's had back surgery. That's what I heard. He is alright, yeah. Um, it's quite a serious one, yeah, but he's had back surgery and he's all good. Obviously, he's no one deserves to die. Yeah. Well, apart from. <laughs> oh, no, all right. Yeah, I won't say the uh, who, because we all get demonetized up, boys. Um, <laughs> there is some people, but anyway. Yeah, not him, because he's an amazing comedian. Yeah. And he okay. just does good films, and I am a big fan yeah. of his. He's, fu- he's a funny guy. Brie Larson petition. Apparently there's a petition going around to get Brie Larson out of the MCU really? and out of the Captain really? Marvel role. Really? What? Really? I don't know why. I don't agree with it. I know she's not an amazing actress. I will say no, that. No, she, she was a good Captain Marvel. She's I don't not, yeah, but she's not amazing. But, but she was good. Yeah. <clears throat> the thing i got to say to the people that's doing petition... Is what else do you want? She's won Oscars, or she's been nominated for Oscars. Yeah, it's not if you're a cup of tea. Yeah, you nothing. know she's not. Ama- she's good. Yeah. You know what else do you want? Thirdly, whether this is true or not, Nicki Minaj retiring from the rap game. I know, ass, but should. But I heard this could be one more album out, so I don't know if. So she put. I don't know if that's a stunt for I a new know. album. But who knows, there's going to be a new, new album know, now. I'm not into usually the rappers like her, but I do like her music. Yeah, she has she, done she's, some good songs. She's, she's got a good style, she's got a good flow. <gasps> and then she's this got swag. She's got, got the swag. She's got swagger jagger. And yeah. then this one, like I mentioned before we started talking about MCU, Sony deal. Obviously they've sorted it now, but Matt and <laughs> I didn't know they was going to sort it, so I put it down as a bad thing. My yeah, bad. Fine. My bad. And then another thing we just talked about, which is why it's on my list, the press conference, like I said. The insults shit. were shit. Yeah, shit the yeah. presentation, the people that were presenting didn't know anything about KSR logo. And, and like I said, the best joke was, you got no dick. It's a press conference. Do better, lads. Yeah, and that's they, my off the list. You got no dick. Ha 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 ha. Nah, I'm not having that. Not having that. Okay, five nothing that. Um, Batman reboot, reboot, reboot casting. Uh, so we've got Robert Pattinson as Batman. I'm not yeah. sure what to be. I don't know. It's, then again, Ben Affleck was... Then again, they thought Ben Affleck was bad, but he is actually one of the stronger points of the Batman in the DC universe. Yeah. He's actually pretty good. Nobody complained about him. I think Harry Cavill got more shit than him. <laughs> of course, it was a CGI moustache in Justice yes. League. That was terrible. And also, her Jonah Hill's going to be a villain. I'm not sure. That's like putting Jonah Hill as Superman. He doesn't fit. <laughs> but i like to see him try. If he's a comic, feed, a comic villain, like the Riddler, the maybe. Riddler. They're like Jim Kid, like. Jim Carrey did really good as a red alert, to be fair. Yeah. But we'll see. But Jonah Hill's a joker. No, it would be stupid. Because Jonah... No, Jonah Hill has done some shows. joker. He's be, apparently he's going to play Penguin. Is he? Okay, I can see that. Yeah, but people have been putting him as, like, the Penguin because he was fat. But he's not fat anymore. <laughs> no, he's got... You know, you see, he goes slim and then goes fat. He goes slim and no. Fat play, he does go... I mean, he does things for roles. Mm. He does... He puts on and off. And then... Number two... But Spider-Man out of the MCU, yeah. Then he's back, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm so probably back in. Uh, number three, I heard Ben and John's turn to a film. Why? It hasn't been funny for ages. Ben and 
that's like oh. oh yeah, I read about that today. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, that's pointless. I don't know, I'm watching uh, it. Okay. My uncle loves it, I haven't watched it. No, yeah, you should watch it. Maybe the first three series. But then, yeah, it's based on Brits Abroad. Fair I right. love it. And, no, it'd just be like Mrs. Brown's Boys for be shit. So, so what's the point? Cause I know some films based on TV can go shit. Like, yeah. that a Between Us movie or Ali G, Simpsons movie. But, I'd, what's the point of a Benadol movie? Nah. Stupid. I then, number four, Jake Paul cast a conference. Number five, BTS on a break. That's a shame. So, on hiatus for a year now. So, one. So, one. So, so like Blackpink's going to take you over now? Probably. And all that's some uh, more capable groups. I then, I will mention Game of Thrones has won awards at Emmy, which is like TV Oscars. So, really? nothing that. Yeah. Even though the people hate the last season. <laughs> Sorry, that through me then. But then again, I'm not surprised if the award has been bought for. Because it's sponsored by the, the TV channel, so. Probably. Yeah. And on that note, I hope you enjoy it. Um, next hope you enjoyed. Next one will be a Halloween one, because obviously it's October. Ooh. Then, so yeah, think, yeah. number... December's one. No, that, no, no, November's one will be a DC special. We might try and rope Samuel into that one if he's up for it. Yeah, let's yeah, do that. Yeah, be Bye. in a minute. Yeah. Oh yeah, getting cold. My tea getting cold. Um, and then uh, thanks to my kit boxing coach for this idea. The year, last one of this year will be a kind of a look back up the year, our top ten moments. Yeah. And how we feel. So that might be a thirty-minute podcast or forty-minute because that one might drag on otherwise. But we'll let you know nearer the time. Yeah. But it'll just be a look back of the year, what we thought been, what we think's been good about films. TV, yeah. music, Shit, yeah. all that sort of stuff. Our top ten moments of the year, and yeah, yeah. Maybe you should dress up for a Halloween one, like Sunday Juice or that bitch. <laughs> no, I'd do that. Yeah, so okay. The money. Yeah, you um, could dress. Up, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. I will. We will catch you on the other side. As far as me and my channel, I've explained that in a quick note video. Um, you know why there's not many videos at the moment. So just bear with me. And I've been in the today. And I've been G-Man. We'll catch you in the next podcast. Bye. See you later. Oh yeah, we're going to Butlins soon. Bye-bye. We're going to Butlins. Oh yeah, you might get Butlins, bro. Yay, Butlins. Butlins. Bye. Bye.